yesterday. It snowed. Freaking snow, I swear. Got uh, got the body split the gas last night. Took all these brackets off. These hooks for the storage containers. And uh, just took a high lift jack and split it. And you see I put uh, two by four blocks up under there just to make sure it's ready to go. And uh, uh, I got a neighbor coming with a high steer forklift. So I just throw some chains around this guy and it is ready to roll. Had to cut this apart a little bit more, no big deal. And then, of course, I wanted to keep the battery box somewhat intact because I'm going to drive the chassis out from underneath of it. So a little weird, weird cuts there, but it'll work for now. We'll figure that out. So, yeah, the body comes off here in a few. And uh, we'll just we'll pick the body up, set it down over here, and then drive the truck out from behind it. Should be fun. Okay, here we go. Boom truck, chains. Seems legit. Here goes nothing. half a bus. Go by bus. That's funny shit. That's it.
caught a cold sick so that's why I sound like garbage but basically here's the uh, here's the idea this is all this all get cut up so I'll just cut all this into pieces just makes it easier and then that way uh, once I get up to this area I can peel that away nicely and try to keep the firewall intact but all this will be trash uh, but now that we've got the bare frame this makes things you know exponentially easier so uh, ultimately what I can do one of two things I can either cut the frame in a Z and cut the frame in a Z roll it together weld it back together but the easier way um, I think is actually going to be just unbolt uh, all the entire suspension components take some of these cross members off <coughs> jack the frame up and literally just roll this axle uh, up to where I want to be which I think is going to be right in this general area actually looks like actually looks like these are uh, provisions for um, a shorter wheelbase truck anyways so I mean um, I'm gonna have to measure that to see that was to be about actually that might be about where it needs to be uh, that's 10 foot or so so that actually might so the rear, rear axle perch that's probably about right yeah so this rear axle perch will come out and probably bolt up right here uh, obviously shorten the drive shaft um, a lot I'll probably end up taking this off all these carrier bearings go away this obviously moves way up here to about where this one's at and then uh, actually if everything works out perfectly you know we'll shim down the carrier bearing uh, so you get the u-joint angles right but if everything works out right I may be able to take um, this yoke off and literally put this yoke on the end of this guy and not even have to shorten the drive shaft you know it'll be a short little guy uh, but there's not a lot of suspension travel I mean there's only there's only three inches of travel there anyways so uh, but by doing that I won't have to pay anybody to shorten the drive shaft assuming this lines up with where I want and then the wheelbase is where I want it to be um, but that uh, that kind of makes everything simple um, the air ride is kind of fun to screw with on this thing so I love air ride. I don't know why. Something about air ride is just a blast. But anyway, so this all this frame goes away. It's all garbage, and then this whole freaking thing. I'm gonna go get a trailer probably late this weekend or next weekend. Pick this thing back up again and throw it on a flatbed, haul it off to scrap. May save a couple of these seats. I'm not really sure yet, but um, so that's the idea. And uh, yeah. More to come once I get to cutting.